Okay, so now for assembly of the rotary evaporator. There's a few different components that you have to pay very careful attention to. This is the seal, the O-ring, for connecting the condenser to the arm here. One side says condenser side, one side says drive side. Very important that you pay attention to that. The drive is that way, the condenser is that way. Pop that into the arm. Fits in there actually pretty nice and loose. We have the condenser here. Put the connector on there and the spring around it so it won't fall off now. That spring is holding it on, that coupler. Take that very carefully. Insert it right into the arm here. Tighten this coupler. Doesn't have to be very tight, just finger tight. When you're assembling it, it's best to just have everything raised up to a comfortable working level. The stopcock can be attached to the inlet pipe just by placing it over the end of this glass. As I said earlier though, a lot of chefs just leave it, leave it out. That goes right into this side of the condenser and there is a small hole to break the vacuum. You can rotate it either way just to keep a full vacuum on. But before you apply vacuum, just leave it open completely. We have the vacuum fitting for fitting onto the very top of the vacuum. Lower it down a little bit so we can properly place it. The vacuum tubing connects from one end of the vacuum pump to this thread here. And it's a very tight fit for good reason to keep a nice tight seal. So it takes a little bit of work to get it in there. But once you have that connected, you'll be able to hold a nice vacuum on the end of here. This inserts up here. It can face in any direction depending on where your vacuum pump is. Just leave it down there and connect it to the vacuum pump in one moment. We have a vapor tube and a small plastic clamp. Very important, you want to assemble it in this fashion. You'll see there's a small groove here and you'll hear a click. That's the right position. We have these grooves lining up with this notch here in the glass. This comes in and inserts into the arm here. There's a lock on the bottom right here with a small button to lock the drive so that way you can properly fit it in there without it spinning around. We have the two-piece connector for attaching the evaporator flask. So we have this evaporator flask here, it's the 1000 mil. Thread this on. You can assemble this in one piece, but this is a much easier way to work with it. Lock it on and you have a little bit of, a little bit of room to work with as far as putting it on to the vapor tube. Slide out the water bath. This is where you probably want to raise up the arm gently. Place it over the glass on glass connection and thread it on and you can see, I'll back it up a little bit, you can see that the two piece 
design here just brings it right into position. Lock it to get a little bit tighter. And this is where you do want to have a nice tight fit. Make sure that you have a nice tight vacuum. Don't have to use any special tools, just use your hand. You can lower it back down into the bath. Now we have the clamp here for connecting the receiving flask. It attaches on here. There's two sizes you can see. And we lock it in place by spinning this down and now that clamp can't go anywhere.